everyone. So today's video is called the sieve of Eratosthenes. So he was a mathematician from the Greek ages who came up with a way to find all the prime numbers um, to a hundred really. So we call, we do up to a hundred using this method. So we're going to spend some time today looking for all the prime numbers up to a hundred using the way that he would sieve through the numbers. So you're going to need two different colours, so you can do this with me. You could draw out a grid to 100 um, and you will need two different colours. So I'm going to use red for my prime numbers and I'm going to use green for my non-prime. So how he did this was he started off with a number, he picked a number and he figured out what other numbers based on the number he chosen wouldn't be in um, wouldn't be a prime number. So how it works is you need to know the rule of a prime number. So a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. So therefore it only ever has two factors. Okay, so I'll write that down. Um, a prime number has only two factors itself and one. So therefore, for example, the number 10 would not be a prime number because yes, it can be divided by one and itself, which is 10, but it can also be divided by two and five. So that doesn't um, fit in with this has only two factors. It's actually got four factors. Okay. So four numbers that divide into it. So what about the number five? So five um, can be divided by one and five. So there's its two factors. Does it divide by anything else? No, it doesn't. We can only think of then decimals, which we're not allowed to use. So that number would be a prime. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to start at the very beginning. We're going to start at the number one and we're going to work our way through. OK, so one. Is it a prime number? Now, this is a strange one, okay? Um, it does divide by one, obviously, and itself, which is one. However, that is the same number. So it actually only has one factor. So therefore, it isn't prime. So I have to cross it out in green. It's not prime, okay? Right, the number two. So two can be divided by one, and itself which is 2 and it can't be divided by anything else so therefore 2 is a prime number. Now what the sieve now does is that any multiple of 2, so any number that's in the 2 times table in this grid is not going to be prime because it can be divided by 2 as well as itself and 1. So 4 can be divided by 2, 6, 8, 10, they can all be divided by 2 so they don't have 2 factors. So I'm going to now quickly cross out all of the numbers that are in the two times table. Okay, so I've crossed out all my numbers now that are in the twos apart from two. So we've got rid of quite a few there, haven't we? So now we're going to go into the next number, the number three. Is it prime or non-prime? Well, it's prime because it's got two factors, three and one. Okay, so now we do the same thing as we've done for the twos. We're going to go through the numbers that are left and cross them out if they're in the three times table. Now, don't make the mistake of crossing out this whole column. Just because they end in a three doesn't mean they're in the three times table. So this is how I would do this one. So I'm going to start it off for you, and then I'm going to go into fast mode. So I would count along if you're not sure what to do. One, two, three, already crossed out. One, two, three, nine needs to be crossed out. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three.
Okay, so now I've crossed out all the numbers in the threes. So we go along to the next number. And you can see what's happening now, can't you? So now we go to five. Yes, five is prime because it can only be divided by itself and one. And then I would cross out all the numbers in the five times table. Now this one's easier. Uh, we've already crossed out the tens. So all we need to do now is cross out the ones that end in five. So that's nice and easy doing the fives. Okay, what's our next number? Seven. So seven is prime. This is the last one we're going to do. And we're going to do the same method we did as we were um, looking for the numbers in the threes. We're going to count every seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 There's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 I think that would be only two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, there's another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's it. Okay, so now every other number that's left in your grid is a prime number. So let's go into speed mode and circle them all up. Okay, so that's the prime numbers to 100.